Hmm, I seem to have some spare time on my hands. I should probably do something productive. Do you remember Nicole Arbor? You know, this one. I hate fat people. Are you depressed? Well, stop it. I like to say mean things for attention. Yeah, neither do I. Well, now she's back and she's here to spread her annoying juices all over feminism because feminism couldn't get any more annoying. And apparently she was like, okay, so I've built my career out of being the worst and it's now dying. So I will take an extremely popular music video right now that covers really heavy issues and I'm gonna make it about feminism. <sighs> I've cracked the code. I don't know how this could possibly go wrong. We just want to be pretty, yeah. pretty that's the goal uh -huh. We just want his money, Gina? get him and be whole uh -huh. Why we even trying, uh -huh. don't deserve a raise uh -huh. Want my boss to hit it, uh -huh. live a life this way uh -huh. We just want to be pretty, pretty that's the goal uh -huh. We just want his money, oh, yeah. get him and be whole This is America, uh -huh. don't catch you climbing up don't Straight away, your voice is really annoying. It is. I know it's petty, but it is. Look how we living now. The boys Wake gonna be tripping oh. now. This is America. Mm -hmm. Got rape in my area. Mm -hmm. You got a drain? Yeah. The roof is got into oh, your cuz. Hey, this is America. Yeah. Don't catch you climbing up. Uh -uh. Don't catch you climbing up. Cause they'll get you hoe in the pack. Yeah, yeah. I'ma go into this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crew a hoe, what's your pet? Yeah, yeah. You got an idea? Yeah, yeah. Don't make it without hey. the bitch. Yeah, yeah. I'm too bold like. Yeah, yeah. We're all too old like. Yeah, yeah. We're not allowed to age like. What? what the fuck? I feel like she's covering some issues that are like legitimate, like rape and stuff. Like that's bad. I think everybody would agree. But then a lot of it is just like. Oh, there's unfair social pressures. <laughs> but like everybody experiences social pressures. Both genders, both sexes experience social pressures. Oh, this is America. Smile for the camera. Hey. Come on, girl, where's your teeth? Uh -huh. That pill will take care of ya. Okay, so apparently the pressure of social media, mental illness and drug issues. That's a female only issue. <laughs> Must be great to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being childish. <laughs> Can't Can be no. no. Okay, honestly, please, someone tell me a time where a father has pushed their child into wearing makeup over toys. I've literally only ever experienced the exact opposite. This shit's fire. <laughs> but you knew, though. Get a man, get a man, get a man. Huh. Make a fan, make a fan, make a fan. No. I gotta give up my dreams. Rather be, be the, the Taliban. Taliban. I'm not sure everyone's gonna get the Taliban line. I was referencing the female fighters who've been kicking the Taliban's butt, and then I, I wouldn't want to be the Taliban because then I get my butt kicked. Anyways. I wonder if people can tell how insecure I am about my terrible lyrics. One, two, three, get down! <laughs> I'm sweating from second-hand embarrassment. Why are you tap dancing? Why? You're just a woman in this world. You're just a ballless girl. You're just a villain if you're strong. Love or ambition is wrong. No one believes you. Just stop trying. You're a bitch, but you're weak if you're crying. You're weak if you're crying? No, sweetie, that's a male stereotype. 
I honestly don't even know what's happening anymore. If I were a guy, you wouldn't be asking yourself, I wonder who wrote that. Don't worry, sweetie, I have no doubts that you wrote that song. <laughs> okay, so I definitely didn't like the song, but let's see what other people thought of it. Okay, well, maybe we can check the comments. I see. I'm honestly just left very confused by Nicole Arbour. Judging by her other uploads, she seems like a very kind of jabby person. She takes a lot of jabs at people. That's what her content is about. You know, like, I hate fat people. Do you have depression? Well, stop it. Racism. But now all of a sudden she's like, guys, I just don't think you understand how hard it is to be a woman. Like she's so harsh on all of these different groups of people, but she's so hypersensitive when it comes to women. It's very inconsistent. There's only two things that really can make sense of all of this. The first one being that she's so delusionally self-absorbed that she's only concerned with issues that affect herself. And then the second one is that she sees kind of a market to pander to these feminists to be able to gain some kind of following. Cause I think she's burned a lot of bridges with the types of videos that she makes. Or maybe it's both. By the looks of things, it looks like she's trying to get in on that YouTuber makes a music video money. She's already done an original song and music video and it did pretty shit. Like how do you not get music video views? They're like the easiest views to get on YouTube. Should have put Vivo in the corner. Nicole, go! We'll see. Let's get it! Oh my god, this is like a fantasy that I would have had when I was like 15. So like, that's when I came on the stage and everybody was like, what? And then I started rapping and they were like, whoa! And they're all like super impressed by my super cool rapping. And that's the day I became the most popular girl in school. She's already compared herself to Eminem. If I had a dollar for every time a white girl said that she was going to be the female Eminem, I would have like a few dollars, so. Rise and grind, it's go team time. The time in fact is 0714, quarter past seven here in the morning on 98.7 Talkback FM. The weather outside is a balmy 29 today. Today's massive story here on the Big Turbo is that comedian, internet sensation, Nicole Arbour, the web's own female blog. Is that Harry Potter font? So when that video didn't do well, she obviously was like, okay, I can make a video about women's issues, get that feminist viewership. And then also I can do a cover of Childish Gambino's incredibly popular song slash video. And then it all blew up in her face. But that's okay, she can just mm, block out those haters, but still get that ad money. But in all honesty, I don't think her stuff is that terrible. Like comparing it to the type of stuff that's out there on YouTube, it's pretty cringy to me, but it's like, not the worst thing that I've ever seen. I think maybe she has potential to maybe try and create a career out of it. Like she's not that terrible of a singer. She's not that terrible of a dancer. I guess she can rap, but it's the kind of rapping where it's like, you know, she's a white girl, you know, but still. But there's just one major issue. She, she built, built her career out of being unlikable. And I honestly don't know how you can come back from that. <laughs> 